I believe any entrepreneur can build a company from the ground up, just like I did. I call this mindset base mentality. Are you guys ready? I'll put my top entrepreneurs through a series of challenging assignments. Oh, no! We have a time check. That will test their business acumen, their products. Yeah. Which of our colors looks best to you? And most importantly, their grit. Time is up! In the end, the one who impresses me the most will get a residency in the basement by full support and mentorship, and of course, my investment, up to $1 million, and make their American dream come true. I cannot wait to learn more about these three entrepreneurs that we're gonna meet this week. Goody, where are we off to next? So let's get into it. First up, we have Ari Hirsch. He's in Las Vegas. InstaSteam is his brand. It's a hands-free, electricity-free steamer. So it's a pouch. You add water, I put like it in a this garment one. bag. I like this one. I'll speak of my language. Uh, I've seen yeah. Danny iron his fair share yeah, of shirts on the road. InstaSteam is the world's first electricity-free and hands-free clothing steamer that steams your clothing for you within minutes. You simply take the InstaSteam pod, tear it open, fill it with a little bit of water. Once you fill the InstaSteam pod with water, it actually activates and in about 30 seconds, you'll have steam coming out of the pod. And then once you put the pod in the garment bag, if your shirt's steamed within two to three minutes, I started the company with $700 in college. Getting an investment would definitely be amazing. You know, we could definitely use the help right now. And it would mean the world to me to, to get an investment and help me make this company successful again and grow this company. So he launched his business in 2019. So he's, again, very early stages, hasn't really been able to start selling the product, but it is 1995, and you get a three pack of the Insta Seams with a garment bag. Right. So that's okay. kind of the setup. So yeah. disrupting yeah. the iron makes sense to me. One of the hurdles of business travel is ironing. To me, this is a big sell. If this could iron a dress, a blouse, that would be golden. So guys, tell me a little bit more about this entrepreneur. He's young. That's the first thing to know about him. He's 23 years old. He's got a really supportive family. He's very close to his mum. Believe it or not, he has a little baby due any second. I'm any so second. So I'm really interested to see what you think. This has a practicality about it yeah. that yeah. people will pay for. Yeah. I agree. If it works. Yes. To Vegas we go. Here we go. Next up, we have Rob Kessler with Million Dollar Collar. He is in Atlanta, Georgia. And so this is what we call a placket. The floppy collar. Yeah. Now this, this annoys the hell out of me. Right. Let's have a look at Rob and his story. So a million dollar collar is like a collar stay, except it goes down the front of the shirt to prevent it from collapsing and folding when you wear a dress shirt without a tie. To me, a dress shirt is the most versatile thing in a man's closet. And if you're gonna go somewhere nice, you're putting on a dress shirt. But going out looking like this is not looking nice. So think collar stay, except eight and a half inches long. Super flexible. Taylor opens a couple stitches right here. Every shirt has two layers in the placket and two layers in the collar band. They slide in million dollar collar right here. They sew right through the material and that's what holds it in place. An extra step? I don't know if customers are gonna think that's worth the hassle. If someone were to invest in million dollar collar, I would go hard after these manufacturers and these brands. Like, I've tried, we've gotten in, we've gotten great meetings. I don't know if I just can't close, but I know that this product is going to change the industry. And I know that that is not my strong suit. I need a team of people that can just beat down these doors and get these brands on board. Listen, I'm all about the end result yeah. of that product. So they sell for about, you know, five for $13.99 or 10 for about $23. And again, you're looking at about a $14 billion shirt industry in the U.S. alone. He's invested about $200,000 in, in this, but he's actually approaching a million dollars. Good for him. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So $1 million in revenue, based on the numbers you were talking before, that's a significant amount that he sold. It's a million dollars is... It's a real number. Yeah, it is. All right. Next up, we have Jordan Clark in Seattle, Washington, and her brand is Dewey's. She owns the business outright, so like she's that. numero uno. Uh, let's have a look. Dewey's are beautiful house shoes made from plant-based and recycled materials. They're designed for comfort, and they're meant for women in their everyday life at home. 
The hardest part about running my own business is being self-funded. It just feels like you're bleeding cash, but it encourages me to be that much smarter with my marketing strategy overall. She just has women right now, but I think you can extend this to, you know, kids, males, yep. you know, a lot of different ways. Um, I like the concept. I have hardwood floors, I have tile floors. My knee literally will hurt if I'm not wearing something supportive if I'm barefoot all day. So I'm very interested in these. They, they look stylish, they're creative. If for no other reason, I want to save her knees. Please, thank you. All right, we need a wheels up. All right, tomorrow, 8 a.m. All right. All right, sleepless night. Right. Love it. <laughs> Okay, we're off, and I'm about to travel around the country to learn more about three great entrepreneurs. Even if you have a great product, I'm looking to invest in the entrepreneur just as much, if not more so, than the product they invented. Now is the moment of truth. So here we are just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. And just a few miles that way, there are over 150,000 hotel rooms that each have an iron and an ironing board. But not for long, according to our next entrepreneur. Ari Hirsch says his product is about to make the iron obsolete. Hi, Hello. welcome. Come on hey, in. I'm nice Ben. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet Look you. at you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Come on in. Hey, Ben. Hello, How are sir. You? So nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate is this, it. Is this insta-steamed? It is insta-steamed. Looks nice and wrinkle-free. I can't go a day without <laughs> it. Right. Here, please take a seat. Sure. Come in. I don't have another job right now, so insta-steam is the only thing I got. I got to be honest with you. I was very intrigued with your product. Now, I don't know if it works, so I'm highly skeptical. 